How about 75 degrees on a Tuesday night in April for a little college baseball tonight? Number three, Ole Miss and Alcorn State meeting for the second time this season at Swayze Field. They go to Drew McDaniel, at least for a little while tonight, as the starter on the mound. Yeah, right-handed that's really been fantastic this year in his sophomore season. Yeah, 33 strikeouts, four walks. Years ago compared to today, but it is remarkable. Both runners go, ball lifted to left, falls in front of Kevin Graham. That's a base hit, throw coming to third. It's not in time. A two run, or excuse me, a one run single. In uniform and not sure he's going to be anytime soon as Jacob Gonzalez lines one the opposite way. That ball goes all the way to the wall. Jacob Gonzalez will cruise into second base with a leadoff double. They are elaborate. Ground ball right side, and that goes right through the legs of Hunter Wilson. Jacob Gonzalez comes around to score. Kevin Graham reaches safely, and it's 1-1. More Jackson Kimbrell now on the mound before Ole Miss. The left-hander out of Birmingham, six feet and an inch tall. Kimbrell making his 10th appearance of the season for the Rebels. Even bigger now. He lines this one to left. Graham coming in, dives forward for it, and makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Good play by Kevin Graham in left. Third, Rebels answered with a run in the bottom of the fourth. That is a four-pitch walk to Dunhurst and feels like Osborne's kind of lost it. 20th RBI of the year for Hayden Dunhurst on the bases loaded walk. Lincoln, Texas. He's got six driven in. You can add to that total. A base hit out into left field. Chatagne comes home to score. Kevin Graham comes around to score. And McCants lifts it to center. Khalil Smith on the run will make the catch shy of the warning track. Tagging at second and going to third is Dunhurst. He's going to try to come all the way around to score. He does so. And then Van Cleve on the throw coming toward home plate takes second base. Full count pitch to Cale Baker. It's a piece of it, chopper, and it's mishandled by Palladino. Tries to make the throw to first, and it gets away. And now Cale Baker going to try and get one more base. And he will get to second without a throw. Zirian Zimenez now making his sixth appearance. Second time he's pitched against Ole Miss this year. Does not have a win or a loss. You see the high ERA. This one dropping fast in center field. It will fall in for a base hit. Baker trying to score. Throw to third is offline. This one goes to the backstop, and Plumley comes home to score, and it's now 8-1. to one. Big dude on the mound for the Rebels in West Burton. He's making his eighth appearance of the year. Nine strikeouts, four walks for Burton. Thanks. One, two. Swing and a miss, there it is. Three strikeouts in the ninth inning for Wes Burton. Drew McDaniel, the starter, goes to 5-0 on the year with his four innings of work, had four strikeouts. Rebels improve to 23-6 on the year. 6.30 first pitch on Friday night for Ole Miss and Arkansas. That game coming your way on the SEC Network. We'll be with you at 4 o'clock on Saturday and 1.30 on Sunday. 8-1, the Rebels win it over Alcorn State.